in the army I am. Give me a five coming at you with another video. Another boxing. Yay! And today, I'm unboxing the Sega Genesis. Big version. <laughs> Even though this actually looks like the Sega Genesis. The other one did not look like the Sega Genesis at all. You can't see me. <laughs> there we go. Howdy. <laughs> I'm recording this on Boxing Day. I went and picked this up today. So, this is the Sega Genesis. There's 85 games in here. Uh, it, there's 85 built-in games. It has HDMI. It has 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers. Cartridge slot. That's awesome. Save and resume games and rewind games, which is also on the Atari, which is set up right over there. You can't see my hand. Right over there in the cabinet. Not set up yet, but I'm close to being set. Um, it has little thing about game. Says what's in. We don't need to read any of that. And then. As I lock my screwdriver onto the floor, great. Um, then you see most, some of the games that are in here. Of course, there's 85. That's not 85. At least I don't think so. Let me count. Uh, Well, seven times five. <laughs> you can probably scrub this at the screens right now as I go reach for my phone. <laughs> thirty-five. So that's just thirty-five of the games on here. So there's a lot more than that. That's cool. We might actually cover some of these. There's some fun games on here. I uh, think that there's a lot of Sonic games. <laughs> it's the Sega Genesis, after all. That and... Look who's on the cover! Look who's on the front of the box! I'm pretty sure he's on here. I'm pretty sure there's a couple in here. Also, Mortal Kombat. That's gonna be interesting. That's a big one. So, let's get this out of this box. Let's get it open, boys. Okay, really just one piece of tape on this thing, wow. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Whoa, the Sega Genesis flashback console, look at that. Here's the instruction manual. Don't need that. Here is the power cable. Fun, fun, fun. Now, is there anything underneath? I know on the last one there was. Okay. HDMI. Won't use that. The two wireless Sega Genesis controllers. What batteries do these take? I might not be able to set this up. Yeah, triple A's. I need four triple A's for these and we're out. I know that. <laughs> the controllers feel nice. They feel very nice. Now, it's time for the big boy. Wow, it's got some dust on it from the package, from the packaging. Let's get the actual pack packaging out of the way. The Sega Genesis, that's pretty cool. I would grab the Atari to show you guys some comparison. But, uh, this is actually really cool. 
And this is a cartridge slot. That's actually really, really neat. I'll push. See? Cartridge. It's cartridge slot. I don't have any Sega Genesis cartridges. I wasn't even alive when it was out. So, um, and you can even plug in old Sega Genesis controllers. Old. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of like the Atari. You can plug in old Atari controllers. This is really cool. I actually really like this. Um, obviously, obviously, that did not, was not there in the original version. So, that's new. I really like this. I really like this. This is really nice looking. Oh, you can also put a little thingy right there. <laughs> and of course, there's both the power and HDMI on the back. It's really cool. The console looks really neat. Here are the controllers. Very cool. You can tell it's old fashioned being that there's no joysticks. That was really the old, the Atari, the one that I'm pointing at in the um, cabinet. That was actually really one of the, f well, I think it was actually the first one to have um, joysticks. It's cool. Yay. Okay. So. I'm probably not going to be able to get this set up uh, before this video goes live. So, with that, I'm giving it a rep. Signing off, see you later, near me. Stay cool and have fun. And I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later, near me. Stay cool and have fun. And goodbye, guys.